All right, hello Aries, and welcome to your love reading, and welcome to Breathe You. So I'm going to get started with the Lover's Oracle card, and then I'm going to wrap up my reading with this beautiful deck of cards called The Universe Has My Back. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these first. Ooh. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Ooh. So for some of you guys, don't rush a connection is what I just heard. All right. Thank you, God. I'm also hearing things will happen when they are destined to. Divine timing is what I heard as well. Thank you, God, for those messages. One more time. Two more times. So hard to shuffle these because they're hearts. <laughs> All right, God. What other messages do you have for the Aries? The Aries. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims; it simply allows and gives. So allow things to be as they are, and that's so crazy because I just got this card for Scorpio as well in the same spot. Super crazy. But with that wait card also coming out, um, I feel like you just need to, ooh, you just need to wait and allow things to happen as they naturally should. Okay. This one says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So I feel like some of you guys also just need to focus on yourself right now. When it comes to your self-love, I'm also getting power because I see the power card underneath. And it says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So for some of you guys, maybe you're waiting for something like a deeper connection is what I'm getting here. But does this like, I'm getting this like it truly make you happy, whatever this situation may be. Wow. Look at this. Then we have, I like to call this the reflection card. But it says emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So for some of you guys, you've been kind of in this reflective period over this relationship, over this situation. And I feel like for some of you guys, you're really trying to figure out if this is what makes you happy or not, you know, based on how it is that you are feeling. The next card we have here is forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So again, this is part of you trying to heal maybe in this situation with this person. I feel like there could have been certain things that have happened in the past that has made you, I'm hearing, think or be confused in this relationship whether or not to work on things. And I feel like I'm hearing maybe you should. Um, depends again on how it is that you truly feel and if you feel like there is some type of hope here like as you see she's looking down she kind of looks like she's giving up he's kind of looking trying to stay focused he has almost like a little grin but I feel like I'm hearing like it could feel like a little bit one-sided for some person in this relationship or in this situation the next card we have here is romance Cupid's arrow strikes. So for some of you guys, this could be a new start or fresh new beginning with the same person or somebody else. Um, I'm also getting like this could be a spark kind of inflamed in your relationship. Maybe in the past there has been problems, but I feel like through forgiveness, you guys can work on things and really reconcile and make things work in your relationship. I'm also hearing you needing to give it time. Like when it comes to healing, it's going to take time and you needing to be patient. And that's why the weight card was there, you know, to allude towards being patient with the process of healing and reflecting because not only you, but this other person in this situation is doing that as well, because they too need to reflect, think, and see how they can grow in this situation or in your relationship. Because this, I'm hearing they both need to be personal and interpersonal growth thank you god for that message but I, ooh, thank you 
I choose to learn through love. Yes, and that is part of the process of learning through love. Exactly what I just said. <laughs> Allowing yourselves to heal and come together as you are, I'm hearing, growing together. For some of you guys, I'm also getting long term. Thank you. When I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. So allowing yourself to again get connected to what it is that you're passionate about what it is that you love your dreams your goals and really what it is that you're focusing on my energy creates my reality what i focus on crazy is what i will manifest so again what it is that you are focused on is part of how your reality is really going to play out how are you looking at this situation with this person i'm also getting what it is that you're doing to change the situation I'm a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to consciousness and oh I'm, I'm sorry I'm here to get closer I'm sorry closer to love not consciousness I'm thinking of another another card <laughs> when I lean on faith of the universe peace becomes real yes so if you just allow things to unfold naturally, I feel like you're going to have a lot more peace in this situation. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm hearing versus trying to force anything or any mindset upon anyone and just allowing growth to happen because that's going to allow things to really unfold in the way that they're supposed to. And I feel like there could be a lot of new romance coming into you in this situation. I'm hearing for the both of you. But you just need to allow yourself to really work together, um, not only separately, so then that way you guys can come together much stronger. I'm hearing much stronger than before. All right, so Aries, that has been your reading. I hope you all enjoyed, and thank you for watching. Bye.